our previous lecture we studied about the first two elements of weather we'll revise about those two elements which are temperature and air pressure in the element temperature we studied about how temperature of a region affects the weather of that region next was air pressure air pressure is the effect caused by air when pressure is created due to temperature in different layers of atmosphere today in this lecture we are going to study the next three elements of weather and also we'll study about climate our third element of weather is wind look at this picture in this picture we see that the air is blowing away the trees you must be thinking that if this picture is of air then where does the term wind apply so to make it simple we'll say that the air which is moving is called wind we will understand the definition that moving air is called wind wind blows in a horizontal manner horizontal manner means in a slipping manner the question is where does wind blows from wind moves from high pressure to low pressure areas meaning the region having high pressure in air spreads the pressure in the nearby areas where the pressure is low to understand this statement let's take an example suppose you are having a balloon and you are blowing air into the balloon and when the balloon blows enough and is unable to store more air in it what happens so what happens is that the balloon bursts why because the balloon was unable to store more air similarly when a region or area is unable to store more pressure of air what happens is that air pressure starts spreading in the nearby areas so when that pressure starts spreading it takes air with it creating the wind the other thing is that when 
wind blows its speed depends on the amount of difference in air pressure understand the statement properly when wind blows its speed depends on the amount of difference in air pressure the statement means that the speed of wind will be slow if the air pressure is high and the speed of wind will be fast if the air pressure is low our next point is moisture or our next element is moisture the atmosphere or air contains water vapor all of the air in our surrounding has water vapors in it the air that has greater amount of water vapor in it is called humid air the humidity the word humidity means some sort of wetness the humidity in the atmosphere is called moisture the proportion of moisture in the atmosphere depends on temperature this statement means that air with higher temperature has more moisture that is why we sweat and air with low temperature has less moisture that is why our skin becomes dry our next element is precipitation let's take an example suppose you have kept a water to boil and you keep a lid on it after some time when you will lift the lid you will observe water vapors are sitting on the lid and when you move the lid water droplets starts falling off similarly this happens in atmosphere how vapor in the atmosphere condenses into water droplets or snow particles meaning the area with low temperature will convert the water droplets into snow and the area with high temperature will convert the water droplets into some big drops of water then those water drops and snow particles shower on earth this is known as precipitation this were the five elements of weather now let's move to our next and last point of this chapter that is climate what is the climate the atmospheric condition prevailing for a longer period of time in a particular region is called climate
climate. To understand this definition, let's take an example about the three seasons of the year that is the winter season, the summer season and rainy season. We get to observe that these seasons last almost for four to five months. This tells us the duration of climate in a particular place. Also, one more thing about climate is that climate is generally defined as cool and dry or hot and humid or hot and dry. These type of climates are seen majorly in all parts of region. This was all about our chapter 4. Here we end our chapter that is chapter 4 weather and climate. Thank you.